Hello friends, my name is Puneet Ahuja and in this video, we will implement lazy loading of image in React with the concept of intersection observer. The prerequisite before watching this video is the basic knowledge of React and the theoretical knowledge of intersection observer. Though, if you have not worked on intersection observer, I will help you with the implementation. What is lazy loading of an image? As the name says lazy loading, it is the concept in which the image is requested only when it is part of the viewport. I can show you with the help of an example. So here is a dummy web page where you can see a header and there are seven sections. Each section contains an image and some text. If I will reload the page, you can see here in the network tab, all the images are requested on the one go. So you will see it here as soon as the page loads. So all the images are requested in a single go. We have to optimize this. I will tell you how to implement this. So this is the web page and I have created a boilerplate for you guys. You can see the source code of the web page. So this is our main component. We have one header and then seven sections. The image is coming from this constant array. So if we look into the section. So we have one image and some text in each section. Now we have to replace this image with new component that will request for the image only when it is in the viewport. For this, I'm going to create a new component here. I'm naming it as lazy image. So I'll be using the same nomenclature. I'll add new file index.js and another file. styles.css. I will copy the content from section into my lazy image. We don't need this image and the content. I will be returning a span element from here. And I will be needing this react statement. I will be needing this styles. There is no need for props right now. I will rename it to lazy image so we also need to show some background for this so i'll add a class name for image style i'll add this image style to my css file background color and i'm using gray color for now I also need height and width for this image that I'll be receiving from props. I'll be receiving a style class that I'll be appending here in my class name. So now I need to use this component in place of this image. Now I will replace this image with lazy image. And the image is coming from this component. Also, I will be changing class name to style class. So, here you can see in place of image, I am showing a span with the background color of gray. Now, what I have to do, I have to add some functionality to this component. So that as soon as this component comes into the view, it will request for an image. So I need a con conditional rendering. I'm using a state for this. So I've created a new state with show image and if this show image is true then I would like to return an image and I'm using this state from where it is coming it is coming from react library 
Okay, so if I have an image tag, I should pass some source. Also, an alternative text. So this will be coming from props only. So now we have the functionality of showing image when we have our flag show image is equal to true. Now we have to add the functionality as soon as this image comes into the viewport it should call this function with a true value. How can I do this? So for this I need reference of this span element to detect that it is part of view. I'll use use ref and by default I'll pass it null value so this value I'll get from this pen now add the mount of this function okay so we forgot to add user into our import statement this is also coming from react library now as the component mounts we have to add intersection observer so that it can detect that our element is in view and we have to request for the image so i'll add that functionality from using use effect so use effect takes a function I'm writing this document and intersection observer here and in the dependencies array I'm passing the blank value so that it will work as mount for me now first of all I have to add that functionality so I am creating a new function register observer so this function will take two input it will take a reference and it will take another function that is the callback function so what we have to do in this function is we have to create A new observer intersection observer so I have created a reference of new intersection observer and I have to start observing observer dot observe and I have to start observing the reference that I have received now as soon as this reference comes into the view the intersection observer calls the callback function that we will pass in here so I'll pass a function that will receive some entries and observer as soon as it comes into the view code so now I have to iterate over the entries for each For each entry, I will check if this entry dot is intersecting. This means if my entry is not intersecting to the viewport, then I have to do nothing. I will just return. And if it is intersecting, then I have to do something. So first of all, I have to call my callback function with the value true also I have to discontinue my observer so I will so this disconnect is the functionality of intersection observer what this function is doing this function is taking a reference as the input and a callback function so first of all we are creating an intersection observer and then we are starting observing that ref the reference that we have received as the parameter 
as soon as this reference is changed like it comes into view or it's out of the view this callback function is called so it is called with the set of entries and we are iterating over that entries and we will be verifying that if the entry is intersecting is intersecting means that is part of the view and we have checked if it is not intersecting then we have done nothing we have just returned from our callback and if it is intersecting then we have state we have changed the state of image to true and disconnected the observer now the only part left is to use this observer now we have to use this observer from here it will be needing two parameters one is this image ref so in react we get this from this current and we also need our callback function to change the state of image so let me just verify that if everything is fine yes yeah i guess we forgot to add a return statement here also now i guess it will work let me just reload this yeah i guess this is working now let us just check it from here in the console here you can see in the network tab we have requested only for the three photos that are part of the viewport as soon as i will scroll this up the next image comes into the view the new request is sent if i'll clear this you can see it in the next image request as soon as next image comes into the view the request is sent and it is painted into the browser thank you for watching if you have any queries please comment below